Hi everyone, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting with me today. So in this video, I want to talk about my paniculectomy. Now what that is, is getting the apron removed from around my belly, the extra sagging skin. Uh, it's not a tummy tuck. A lot of people think it's a tummy tuck. It is not. Uh, you can get the paniculectomy and a tummy tuck together. Insurance may not cover it, but uh, you can get them together just if you're going to speak to a surgeon about that, you know, go ahead and discuss that. So, uh, I cannot remember when I had my paniculectomy. I want to say it was 2018, but I, I had lost, I think at this point I had lost 120 pounds and I wanted to wait till I lost, you know, more weight, but the, uh, pulling because it pulls and you could see the it, I'm trying to find something to show you an example of do you know like when if you take a piece of fabric and you pull it like that you can see like not stretch you know it's not stretchy fabric just if you pull it like that you can kind of see the stress on the threads and the fabric it started looking like that like it was just hanging down front and everything was looking good down there. Well, not my boobs. I had to get those removed too, uh, or reduced. <laughs> but um, it would just pull. And yeah, there were stretch marks, but they were, if someone looked at it, it looked painful. But it was just so much of it, and it was just hanging and sagging. And I would have to tuck it like up and stuff to sit down, and it would be like just, even, you know, I was still getting the heat rashes and stuff even though I had lost the weight because now the skin was just hanging and rubbing and if I would turn over in bed it would just rub and I'd carry it with me and it was just, and it was at times painful because I would flip over in bed and forget about it and it would just be like, I'm going to rip your stomach open. Um, and so I went to see a plastic surgeon. I'm. Uh, he was wonderful and I wasn't ready to talk about breast reduction yet but I did want to talk about the paniculectomy and I told him at the time I didn't know what it was called I said I want my apron removed and he was like well we can do that and we could do a tuck too but the tuck won't be covered by insurance but the paniculectomy should be and it took no time he went through my insurance and they called me you know I had the consult with him he drew on me, took notes and stuff. They got the ball rolling a couple business days later. They called me and said, it's been approved so we can set up your surgery. And they did. And I went in to get my surgery. And uh, when I woke up, it was 20 pounds removed. So I was 20 pounds lighter than when I went in. Well, I mean, after the swelling and everything went down. Um, I had to have drains, which was nasty. Uh, I, I don't like them, they're uncomfortable, but you know, it was better than having a 20, an extra 20 pounds of skin around me. Um, but yeah, he, I wanted to see it and I forgot to ask if they would take a picture of it or something because they, a lot of times they will. And I wanted to see it, but I didn't get to see it. But I was an anesthesia is so weird to me because they were like, okay, we're gonna give you something to make you, you know, you know, to relax you, and then we're, we're, we're then the anesthesiologist will, uh, you know, put you under. So, you know, and I'm like, you're gonna give me something to relax me, <laughs> and they were like, yes. And um, I remember the nurse with the uh, with my, the tubing from my IV and a syringe. And I remember looking at Eric, and then I don't remember anything else because the next thing I know, I'm waking up and the surgery is complete. And um, I got to go home that day. I didn't have to stay. Did I have to stay in the hospital? I don't think I stayed overnight. I think I went home that same day. I'm pretty sure I went home that very same day. Yeah, I went home that very same day, and I was up walking immediately. And. surgery itself I think he said it took an hour and a half 
um, I think it was 20 pounds of skin, but they said it was, a, it was a lot and they did remove a lot because like my stomach was, was flat, it was flat, you know, I don't have any of that hanging down anymore, but I still, I want to find out if there's a surgery now that I'm working through, if there's a surgery that will take care of much for my taste. I don't like it. And, um, yeah, I don't like it. And I know I'm getting to that point in life to where who cares? It doesn't matter. I'm 53 years old. What does it matter? It matters to me. I have to look at that fupa when I'm naked and getting ready for bed or getting in the shower or something. And it's, I don't like it. I didn't want it gone. So I'm, I'm, I'm just wondering if there's a procedure. i I have the world, the world of information at my fingertips. I should just research it because I want that gone. And um, once I've lost this last 40 pounds, um, I'm probably going to do a tummy tuck. But, uh, and I also um, had a breast reduction. I'm trying to think. I think that's all I did was a panniculectomy to remove the apron. Uh, what do y'all call it? That skin hanging down. We always called it the apron. I think that's universal um but yes yeah, so i had that removed and i had the breast reduction i feel like i had something else done but i don't think i did and the breast reduction was pretty much the same thing they gave me something to relax and the next thing i know i'm awake and they're like we called your husband because when i had that done it was when when covid was going around and he just went home and came back after the breast reduction. It's all bundled up, wrapped up real tight. Oh, and that's another thing. They wrap you really tight in a, a belly belt or tummy trainer for the paniculectomy. And um, you get, I just get air clean because the tighter it was, the more comfortable it felt to me. But then they were like, keep it as tight as you can possibly handle it and I did and because I liked it really tight that really helped because that helps reduce the swelling reduce the fluid build up and then you got the drains that also collect the fluid now the drains I had they weren't filling up very fast which is good you don't want them to fill up too fast um so uh, but I would have to empty those and they grossed me out so much that I just like emptied them all the time and uh, we just had to keep track of the volume that we were emptying out and he gave me gabapentin and you know it, it was I didn't have any issues with pain after the surgery uh let's see what questions have I been asked about that yeah I didn't have any issues with pain I healed really well I healed pretty fast um they pulled the drains on my second follow-up visit which was kind of a bummer because when I went for the first visit, I was like, maybe they'll pull the drains and they didn't. Uh, getting the drains pulled, really weird. It's a really weird, it's not painful. It's a sensation and it's just really weird. And it just kind of makes me, ew, it's, it's cringy. It's cringy. Um, I'm just trying to think of what else was, uh, what other questions I've gotten about it. Um, I had a coworker that was like, why didn't you get the tummy tuck too? And I'm like, cause the insurance didn't cover that. And I wasn't about to pay for it right away. You pay for that because I have to wait for it. Well, she's the insurance will cover it. She, said, she knew everything. She knew everything. And I'm like, no, the insurance will cover the paniculectomy. It will not cover the tummy tuck. She just said, will. I'm like, okay. I called the insurance company in front of her. And they were like, no, we won't cover a tummy tuck, but we will cover a paniculectomy if the criteria is met. Because there is criteria. You can't just go in and have it removed. There's criteria. So if you're self-pay, there isn't. But if you're trying to get insurance to pay for it, you know, you have to meet the criteria. There has to be medical reasons that needs to be done. Um, there has to be a certain amount of skin they need to remove. Um... 
uh, what else? I don't know. I think that's pretty much it. The skin and the irritation. Um, some insurance requires you to provide evidence that your irritation has been infected. I didn't have infection, so thank God that wasn't required with my insurance. What else was there? I don't know. It was, and honestly, except for the drains, as uncomfortable as they were, it was a pretty easy process. Now, the drains were uncomfortable, but I would do it all over again if I had to. Those drains weren't going to deter me. Um... Because I also had to have the drains when I had the breast reduction, which I will talk about in another video. But the breast reduction drains, that was, when those were pulled, that was weirder than getting the drains pulled from the paniculectomy. Um, if you do want to get a paniculectomy and you do have one, see if they'll take a picture of the skin for you so you can see it. Because I'm just fascinated by that stuff. I know not everybody is, but I am really fascinated by it. Uh, I've heard people say that you can go to certain places to get it done for free and your skin is donated to burn victims. I've also read that that's an urban myth, so I don't know. But anyway, that's it. It's, I guess there really wasn't that much to say about it. Um, I just wanted to put the information out there from a patient who's had it done, just in case someone's interested in it. Now, if you have any questions about it that I didn't cover, feel free to ask them in the comments or email me. Uh, don't email me nonsense because my emails go to another party before they come to me, so it's going to be deleted anyway. Uh, it's just, it just makes my life easier because I get so many emails. Um, what else? I think that's it. Yeah, doctor is very good looking. I think it's almost a rule for plastic surgeons to be attractive. It seems like that. It seems like every plastic surgeon I've ever met, because yeah, I worked at a hospital, those plastic surgeons are always really attractive. So that's why I thought this one pharmacist, when I first, when they first introduced him to me, there's this doctor, blah, blah, blah. I swear I thought he was a plastic surgeon because he was, looked like Jensen Ackles. Really, I'm serious. He looked like Jensen Ackles. I worked with someone that looked like Jensen Ackles. But anyway, but he wasn't. He was a different kind of doctor. So but my mama would have said when she, if she met him, she would have said, I need to find out what kind of doctor he is and I need to get that disease pronto. <laughs> that's what my mom would say. All right. Well, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Again, if you have any questions about that or if you have any questions you want to ask about the breast reduction, go ahead and ask them down below. Because there are people who are afraid, like, I want a breast reduction because of the irritation, but I'm afraid I won't have any boobs. Don't worry about that. They don't take them all away. I still have a cute little set going on. Um, they're different shapes, though, but we'll cover that in, um, in a later video. <laughs> but anyway, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to everyone later. Bye. Mm -hmm.